When you apply brushing lacquer, it doesn't say anywhere on the can that you should rub it out after applying it. Well, you really have to because once you've applied all the lacquer, you'll get, let me see if I can get this in the light just right, you'll see these little ridges on here and you can actually feel those. And there may be some spots like here where it's kind of pooled up a little bit. So what I want to do is knock all of those down and smooth it all out. Another thing to keep in mind is you really want your lacquer to cure as long as you can. Uh, really two days should be minimum. I'm doing this after about 24 hours, but we'll see how it works. I've got 320 grit wet dry sandpaper. That's that black sandpaper and a sanding block. I'm gonna use that to do the sanding. And I've filled up this little tray with just soapy water. It's just water with a little bit of dish soap in it. And this will act as a lubricant. So I'm just gonna start rubbing this in long strokes. And you'll kind of feel the sandpaper create almost a suction cup on the finish. Another thing to keep in mind is you don't necessarily have to go with the grain because you're not sanding the wood itself. You're just sanding the lacquer that's on top. And I like to keep a damp rag handy so I can wipe off the soapy residue and see how it's coming along. Now what I want to do is just rub this down to a flat finish using 4 aught steel wool or one of these gray, you know, scrubby pads. So that gives me this nice smooth finish, albeit it's kind of a flat finish. It's lost most of its sheen. Well, I brought the box inside. That sun beating down out there was just a little too hot for me. So now I'm ready to move on to the final stage of this rubbing out process. And what it involves is using this, I'm using Minwax Paste Finishing Wax, and I'm gonna use that same 4 aught steel wool. It's just a matter of getting a little bit of that on the steel wool and then start rubbing it in with pretty firm strokes and you know don't be afraid to use a lot of it pressing down pressing down the whole time the paddle kind of tend to get gunked up like that and it starts to feel a little bit smooth and so you know i just come over to a spot that i haven't used and just kind of rub it a little bit with that too my thought is the the longer i can keep rubbing this in the nicer finish i'll get so after it's all applied, you'll see it kind of cloud up on there. Uh, and then just let it dry 15, 20 minutes or so. Make sure it's pretty well dry. Now that that's dry, this is kind of the magical part of this, is grab a clean rag, an old t-shirt, and you just start buffing away that paste wax. And you'll instantly see it start to shine up. And as before, I think the more you can buff this, the better. In fact, I think you could even use like an automotive, you know, powered buffer if you wanted to. And then once I've got all that paste wax off, I grab a brand new fresh cloth and go over it again just to make sure I've got all the residue off of there. And this just helps buff it out all the more. And there it is, all rubbed out. Uh, here's the tapa that I still need to attach to the front and assemble everything. This is not a glossy finish. This is a satin finish. It's got a fair amount of sheen to it, and it just feels really nice to rub your hand along it. There are a lot of different ways to rub out a finish, and you can get very complicated with them. You can rub them up to high gloss, all different methods. This is a really simple one that I like to use and there's not a whole lot of steps involved and I get pretty good results with them. And, you know, I didn't let the lacquer cure for <laughs> two days and still worked out pretty good. So remember, cajon video tomorrow. See you later.